Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Ro here. Thank you for visiting You Grow Ro. If this is your first time, I hope you'll consider subscribing at the end of this video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. So today I'm going to be harvesting my burgundy broccoli. I've already harvested a few pieces and I didn't record it. Um, it's delicious. It's super tender. And now I want to harvest the rest of it and make myself a shrimp and broccoli stir fry. Thought I'd bring you guys along to see how I do. Let's give it a watch. So I have four uh, burgundy broccoli plants that I'm gonna be harvesting the broccoli from, but they're supposed to be super prolific and doing offshoots. So I'm not gonna be removing the plants. Um, I'm kind of thinking about doing something with the greens from them, but I haven't decided if I'm gonna do that and if I do, what? But let's take a look at these plants right quick. All right, so here's two of them in my bucket garden. Um, there's one here. This is easily the largest one I have. And then here's another one up here. As you can see, I've already been harvesting off of it. I did that a couple days ago um, because what did I make? Oh, I made I made a noodle stir fry. That was delicious. Look at how my garden is thriving, y'all. I'm so proud. Look at these mustard leaves. Oh, it is time to make a harvest. But that's not what we're here for. We are looking over here. So I also have two plants in this bed. There's one here. And one over there. And the florets are still pretty tight, the buds on them. So I think I'm in good shape to go ahead and harvest these tonight. While I'm out here, I'm also going to harvest some of my beautiful thyme because um, using the uh, Flash Food app, I got a bunch of beef stew meat 50% off. And so I'm going to be canning that up today, tonight, whilst I do other things. So let's get a little bit of this thyme. So we can throw that in there too. And then I have some onion that I cut up into um, rings. I'm gonna throw that in, cause I got them. And um, maybe um, some garlic and can that beef up like that. And it should be pretty good. I don't know how you can go wrong with it, right? <laughs> got my thyme down here. So the little one is lime time. I'm not using that, but this here is regular time. And that's what we're gonna be using. Oh, that's a nice big sprig. Just stay right there. Ta-da. Not much, just a little. Because I think I only have enough of that stew meat for one jar, so. Well, I could split it into two and then use a lot of it, the space for broth. That could be good too. Ooh, decisions, decisions. So I've already given these um, broccoli florets a little um, rinse outside. Um, just to make sure I wasn't bringing in any bugs. But now I'm gonna have them in this pot of cold water that I put some salt in and they're gonna sit in there and um, soak until I can, uh, I'm ready to make my stir fry. All right.
right, friends, that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my little harvest of my burgundy broccoli. I hope to be able to do this again. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, and happy growing.